The seniors of Urban Living, or the Soul Network as they call themselves, is pushing for state lawmakers to sponsor a bill that would allow families to put surveillance cameras in their loved ones' nursing home rooms. Was well, Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger tells us tonight, many of those fighting have loved ones who have fallen victim to elder abuse themselves. In this situation, we have vulnerable seniors that can't protect themselves. Right, right. So we have to step in on their behalf. These ladies of the Soul Network have something in common. They're passionate about putting a stop to elder abuse because they say they know someone who's been a victim. In fact, the Department of Justice says 10% of people over the age of 65 are abused in any given year. We saw that she laid on the bed without receiving CPR for at least 7 to 15 minutes before they even tried to administer CPR because they can't find her medical chart. Well, what happened? We spoke to Shalia Sanders back in 2021 <laughs> after her grandmother died from COVID in a nursing home. We got to march. We're going to demonstrate. Sandra Thomas is the founder of the group. She says she has photographic evidence that her uncle was neglected in his nursing home, even though the state investigators found no wrongdoing. He wasn't being fed properly. He was not being groomed and kept and washed and showered. Now she and her team are proposing the Benjamin Bubba Scott bill that would allow nursing home residents and their families to put surveillance cameras in resident rooms. Already 14 states have passed laws to this effect. A lot of people are getting away with a lot of things that we don't see behind closed doors. Opposition to such a bill stems from consent and privacy concerns, but the group says as long as the patient and their family agree, cameras are a surefire way to monitor what goes on inside care facilities. I would love to see this bill written and structured in a way that will give family members a peace of mind. The first step, finding a state rep or senator to sponsor the bill. And they say they won't rest until they do. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.